Chef Beth and I just finished putting this uh, char griller together. This is a Dakota model. It has a side box for smoking. Of course, you can offset and smoke inside the grill itself. Uh, we have some tips in here, some stuff that's not in the instructions. Uh, we recorded every bit of it, so you might pick some things up in here that might save you a little time. Okie dokie. So, 625 square inches cooking. This is a char griller. Uh, we've used their products before. Well, a product. It's a gas and smoking grill. Hello, cookie. And so this is uh, half of it, basically. So you get a charcoal, charcoal griller and uh, a side box, Texas style, as you can see in that diagram right there. That's an excellent way to smoke uh, pork butts, ribs, chickens, etc. So what they do, they put it all in this one box. I believe it's about 142 pounds. And everything but one grate comes in the barrel. So, um, between me and Beth, what we decided to do was empty it out. This was on the front porch. So we emptied it out, took everything out and brought that back in the cart. And then we brought the barrel. So all the parts are laid out. I like that they do this. I like these little bubble wrap parts. We had that when we built that pergola. Very nice to have that. I have to go let these chickens out. I can tell. This is actually the smoke box. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I haven't looked at the instruction manuals, but obviously that's the smoke box. In two halves. We got the legs there. There's wheels in this box, so forth and so on. I think if I just sat down and do it, yeah, that probably about an hour, I would guess. But we're not doing it that way. It's about 12:30. We got some other things going on. So, but we also have till the sun goes down. We got about five hours to piddle at this, which is exactly what we're going to do. We'll be back. Okay, four legs go on first. There are three uh, hex bolts per leg, little half inches. They actually have it so you can use a flathead, a hex, or uh, even a Phillips. Uh, you're using locking washers, and the receptacles are threaded, so there's no bolt on the other side. Just screw them in, and you're good to go. Okay. Step two, you're putting this grate on. It's as much to keep these legs aligned as to use it, but you can use it, of course. It's at the bottom of the grill uh, to keep whatever you want to keep on it. I will say this does take two people. It is a hex. Uh bolt again although this one i think is three quarter inch but these are pre-drilled so you're not putting a bolt on you're just screwing that in and it has the same head design so you can use a flat head if you want okay the next step after the grate you're putting the wheels on real simple all right they have these little bars here slips right through the cylinder of the wheel you have a washer right there cotter pin done so after you have it upright, you're putting this handle on, which is also a half inch hex. This handle on, half inch hex. Uh, the chimney on, so you can control the heat. All right, smoke it about right there. Grill it about there. Uh, and the uh, thermostat, thermometer, not the thermostat, the thermometer. Okay, all that goes on, that's actually a wing nut. These other items are using uh, nuts and hex bolts. So after you're done, you want to go back and tighten all that stuff up. Okay, get in this far, by the way, took about an hour, not because it takes that much manual labor time, but just reading the instructions, figuring out which part is which, the nuts and the bolts and the washers, etc. I mean, you can eyeball it and see what's happening. However, uh, I don't like to just do what's supposedly obvious because you can find yourself doing double work done it plenty of times before so we're just piddling so you're putting the top to the bottom of the firebox side firebox same deal half inch hex i will say this one in the back corner uh the flange was not flush so it wasn't biting uh we had two people so i just pulled it together tightly with my fingers uh, if you're working alone you can use clamps if you run into that problem these are only half inch, so they have to be flushed to get that half inch hex uh, bolt into there. 
No nuts, it's running into a female receptor. But we got her done. Took a little bit of extra effort, but not a big deal. Okay. So you're putting this bar on, and that's going to support this uh, side firebox. Attaching that to the legs, those are three quarter inch hex nuts. Definitely the most difficult part so far, and I'm sure that everything else is easy. You got to put in six uh, hex, half inch, with the lock and washer, female receptors, so that makes it easier. However, the smoke box is really heavy, so without a doubt, you need two people. So Chef Beth had to hold it. She's blind to the, what's going on, so she can't see the alignment. You're working over here, trying to get it aligned, get the bolts in and tightened, and can't tighten them all at first. Uh, but it didn't really take that long. It took no. like two, three minutes. Yeah. But, it's uh, just heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. And then to finish the box, this, uh, again, it's a half inch right there. You got to tap that into the bar you installed before. And now she's locked down. She's not going anywhere. So you're going to put your damper on. You're supposed to put a handle on. The unit we got, the threads for the handle were mismachined, so we're going to have to get those replaced. Not that big a deal. You can still slide it in and out without that handle. Um, that'll happen, so I'm not really that upset about it. Machining is machining. Okay, so once you're done with the firebox, you'll have your lid with the handle installed. As said before, there's supposed to be a handle here. Uh, the threads were missed machine, so we'll have to get that uh, replaced with char griller. And you put on this little safety latch, okay, to keep this from popping out. And there's your damper. So you're putting this outside shelf on. They hook on the top so that you actually can lift it up and fold it down. They ask you to put the bolts in, the top bolts in first. That was a problem getting this thing to hook on properly. Uh, I had to use a mallet, and then I decided I'm just going to screw in the bolts through the hook. But you can still use it. You can lift up the bottom and fold this thing down if you want it to. All right, so that's about the end of it. They do have these nice little utensil bolts that come in, have these spacers on the bolt itself, a little hex nut. We've got our grates here. I like these grates. They're nice, a lot wider than the ones we were using before. And that's it. That's what the Dakota looks like. No gas, straight. You can charcoal. You can offset smoke in this if you want it to. But this side box, that's where it's at. Even comes with a little charcoal basket there. So you can throw your charcoal in there. Throw in your wood for whatever it is you're smoking, like mesquite for beef and pork. All told, it took us two and a half hours. Started at 1.30, finished at 4. However, we took a couple of breaks and uh, ran into a problem with one handle, which I told you about. Um, had to figure out some tricky situations, but two people without taking a break, probably an hour and a half, but... Eh, you know, just just plan for two hours or so, and you should be able to get her in pretty quickly. Um, we used that mallet, which wasn't on the list. It said hammer, but I'm not hammering on uh, metal <laughs> with metal, so I used a mallet. Uh, I used a flathead. Um, I will be using a 7 16th socket when I go back to tighten up anything that has a nut. These, some of these hex bolts have a nut on it, so I'll go back and tighten that up, and then she's done. Well, uh, the next step, of course, is to season this. There's a separate video for that particular procedure. If you're new here, uh, please consider subscribing. This is a gardening channel and landscaping channel. We do uh, some cooking videos, Chef Beth, my wife, and we also do a few chicken videos now and then. See you on the next one.